getting through this with stories to help you get back on track. This is the Rebound Coastal Bend. Psychologists say more people will probably be diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder after this pandemic. Alexander Cohen shows us different ways that we can reduce the stress. With the economy reopening, some people feel sad staying home or guilty when they go out. This is anxiety manifesting in a different way. In this time of uncertainty, Dr. Anna Settle says she's worried more people will be diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. So I think we're going to see a lot of PTSD coming from not only seeing loved ones ill, but also parents trying to care for children and, and people being unable to work and all of the effects, the trickle down effects that, that it's having. A lot of people feel pandemic fatigue, anxious or depressed during this time. The good news is many mental health experts are available to help. But for mental health too, they also are utilizing um, virtual reality. And so rather than it being just a face to face conversation, it can actually feel like you're in the room. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with COVID-19, there are some warning signs for PTSD. Thinking back to what it was like seeing that person in crisis or seeing that person really ill, difficulty sleeping, having nightmares. At the end of the day, Dr. Settle says we all have to try and find moments of peace during this time. If you're following the recommendations, you're engaging, you're social distancing, you're doing all the things that, that you're being recommended to do, then, then you just have to let go of the fact that you can't control the outcome. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.